In 1932, after being passed over for a job managing the sporting goods department at Montgomery Wards in Dixon, Ronald Reagan borrowed the family car with hopes of finding a job in radio. After being rejected by a few stations in Illinois, Ronald Reagan crossed the river into Iowa and stopped at station WOC in Davenport, where he landed a job doing sports announcing. WOC soon closed its doors, joining WHO in Des Moines, with Ronald Reagan as its sportscaster. It was that job and his covering of the Chicago Cubs that led him to Hollywood and a movie contract with Warner Brothers. On July 14, 1983, President Reagan was gifted this 1920s microphone from the National Radio Broadcasters Association for his use of radio in communicating with the American people. He even wrote about the gift in his personal diary. You know, I'm proud to have gotten my start in communications here at WOC, but I'm even prouder to have been a part of a tremendous broadcasting tradition. Thank you for joining us for this week's Monday Minute in the Archives. Join us next week as we share our next treasure.